Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 1 to 3 Contact Form Hub Exchange webinar, Secrets of Form Conversion and Reachability. We're so excited to present our newly launched Exact Target application, 1 to 3 Form Builder, together with essential form building know how, and uh, we're thrilled to have you joining us today. Before we get started, I'd like to give you a quick tour of your webinar tools to know uh, how to interact with us during today's event. On the right hand of your console, you'll find the controls for launching the Q&A box, the chat box that you can use to submit your questions to us. Also, you can use the Twitter hashtag 123Talks to send your thoughts and enter the conversation. Lastly, don't worry about taking notes during this event because this webinar is being recorded and you will receive a copy by email tomorrow morning. Now, it's my pleasure to introduce 123 Contact Form CEO, Florin Corniano. Good morning, Florin. Good morning, Laura, and thank you for the invitation. Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome to our webinar. Uh, during this uh, almost half an hour, I would like to share with you some tips and tricks and some uh, secrets that we uh, discovered during our uh, five years of experience while building web forms. So, as you can see, this webinar is about uh, web form conversions and reachability. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Florin Corniano. I am the CEO of 123 Contact Form. We created this product about five years ago, um, me and Tudor, for our internal use. But uh, since it got so much traction, it, uh, it became a standalone product. Uh, during uh, those years, I managed all 123 Contact Form processes from uh, development to sales to marketing and even customer support. I really prefer to participate and talk at conferences and uh, I'm uh, passionate about uh, mentorship and web development. Okay, uh, our product, 123 Contact Form, is uh, a tool that allows you to create web forms. And by web forms, I mean any type of web forms from the simple contact forms you might have on your website to event registration forms to order forms where you can sell online through our integration with the payment processors and uh, even uh, complex or simple surveys. Uh, we had almost uh, 400,000 users from uh, 184 countries that tried our product so far and we managed to deliver close to 20 million form submissions. But if you want to, to know more about us and read the latest news, feel free to join our blog. Okay, today we'll talk about uh, how to build forms that convert, uh, about how to reach and engage your customers, some tips and tricks that we have regarding form building, and some things that you definitely should that you definitely should not do when building web forms. At the end of this webinar, I'll uh, give you a quick tour of our exact target uh, application. If you are in the marketing business, you know that conversions drop because the market changes, some other factors that you don't even know about and some other things that happen beyond your, uh, beyond your reach. Uh, what you're always trying to do is increase conversions. But the problem is when we're talking about web forms that your form visitors do not like to fill long forms. They find it boring and it's definitely something they don't prefer to do every day. And the question is how to encourage web form conversions. There are a couple of scenarios that you can uh, try and some tips and tricks, but uh, let me give you a quick uh, hint here. The best thing you can do is to build intent because the user must have a clear goal in mind. When they reach a web form, it should be very clear for them that if they click the submit button, they'll uh, gain something. And by that I mean even uh, submit a question that is highly important for them or uh, even some advanced things like uh, getting a bonus, a free, a free ebook, or uh, participate as the contest. Um, and by, content I, uh, by contests I mean um, something very, um, very small and simple that doesn't imply too much costs for you like uh, giving uh, a free ebook, for instance, for the first uh, 20 participants to a webinar, in this case. If we would go in the form layout, then um, one thing should, uh, should be in your mind always. 
try to keep the form as small and as simple as possible. Because if you deploy a long form, uh, people will get bored, as I already mentioned, and they might get confused due to the different information that is asked. For instance, in this, um, in this case, um, you can see two, two, two versions of a web form. The one from the left has the company name, and uh, of course the one from the right it doesn't have the company name field. Well, a company called Expedia removed this field and they ran a test. Of course, they had uh, plenty of visitors and customers to try this, and uh, it meant uh, a huge conversion uh, increase for them and uh, even 20 million in profits overnight. Some other best practices that I would like to highlight are um, providing instructions under each form field. You can see in the image below that uh, you are asked to, to enter an email address there. But uh, it's quite helpful to, to have a small text below the field, like the one you can see, please enter a valid email address. We will not sell your email to anyone because it, uh, it gives your form uh, user a different angle, a different view on this uh, form, form submission, meaning that uh, they gain trust because you won't sell their email address and they'll quickly enter it without uh, reconsidering. Um, some other tips and tricks would be to, to add a link to a solid privacy policy and uh, if uh, even if you do that, the form conversion doesn't mean that much to you, so it's not that, uh, that big, you should definitely follow up with, uh, with an email. Um, one thing that you should do in order to increase your form conversions is to, to make sure you share this form on every available channel to you. And by that I mean put the form on your website, if possible create a landing page for it. Uh, if you have a Facebook presence, create a Facebook page and add the form there. Uh, it, if you can share it on your Twitter and all your Twitter followers would see the link. Um, of course, LinkedIn, uh, use a QR code uh, and everything that is available. Uh, if you put the form on so many places, it definitely increases the number of views and if uh, you've got so many views, you definitely have a lot of people that would uh, complete the form and uh, you gain that lead. Here are some don'ts regarding web forms. So, um, according to our experience, there are a couple of, uh, let's say, fields, and by fields I mean uh, inputs where people enter uh, some details uh, that uh, are um, commonly used for web forms, like name, email, uh, title, company, and so on. But uh, what's uh, definitely not common is the requirement of uh, marital status or uh, social security number because uh, on the other hand some are sensitive and they don't like to share them and some others are uh, like the social security number is not commonly known, people have to search for it and uh, this is why uh, they abandon the form. You should definitely consider branding your form because um, people gain trust again. Uh, add a logo if you have it uh, placed on your website, make sure it blends perfectly with it. Um, use uh, CSS code to, to tweak fields uh, in order to highlight what's important. Uh, make some fields required that are definitely mandatory for you and uh, the first thing that comes to my mind here is the email address that should definitely be required all the time because otherwise you won't be able to, to reply to, to that customer. You should consider adding uh, Google Analytics code or other type of third-party tracking code that you have uh, in order to, to gain an insight on where the visitor comes from uh, or um, even uh, create some reports regarding um, at which time of the day the form is most commonly submitted. Uh, and uh, one of the things that I really prefer and I want to share with you here is uh, the option of uh, receiving an SMS uh, alert on your mobile phone each time a uh, form is submitted. And if I'm talking about a sales inquiry, for instance, imagine what would mean to, to receive that SMS with an inquiry from a customer and uh, quickly uh, reply to that message. This 
also gains the customer trust and increases the chance of converting that customer into a paying, uh, paying one. Uh, here is a small tweak. Um, you can add uh, the CSS code to transform a simple input like the one in the image below to a dotted line if you prefer to, to do this and it matches your website layout. Mm. One very important thing is um, transforming a simple form into a core component of your business. Let's say you are a small business. Uh, you might be using a CRM product, you might be using a sales related product, uh, you might be using a, an email uh, marketing or a, an email um, sending product like, like um, Exact Target where you, you send the newsletters to all your uh, subscribers. Well, imagine if uh, that form sends those uh, email addresses that are captured during submission to your uh, marketing uh, list. Okay, you'll be able to quickly deliver a newsletter to each customer even if they subscribed or uh, they sent you an inquiry two minutes ago. So that's why uh, here at 123 Contact Form, uh, integrating a web form with other third-party applications is a vital, uh, it's a vital feature and we really look uh, carefully into the future in order to add as many applications that could link to your form as possible. Uh, here is a quick view about our um, 123 Phone Builder app for Exact Target, but I'm going to show it to you directly into the browser. Okay, if you if you go to your Hub Exchange um, section, you could search for our application or click the See All button. But let's search for it. It's difficult in the morning to type properly. Okay, we have the app. We just click on it once. And if you want to install it to your uh, exact target account, just drag and drop the icon here as I'm doing right now. Uh, you might uh, notice that the application is named uh, 123 Form Builder, and I'm going to share with you why in a couple of seconds. Uh, let's say I already installed the application. I'll go to my exact target account. Uh, let's click once. Okay, you've got this drop down, and uh, I'm clicking on the uh, 123 Form Builder uh, item. Internet is a bit slow in the morning. Okay, um, here is um, the entry point in our application. You just have to link it with your 123 Contact Form account, and um, or uh, sign up for a free one if you don't have it. Um, I mentioned the the name change. Well. Um, 123 Contact Form uh, was a very good name at the beginning, but um, for Exact Target we rebranded a bit to 123 Form Builder because we want to share the fact that you can do more than a simple contact form. Okay, getting back to the application, I'll just uh, log in. Okay. Um, let's try to create a new web form. As you can he see here, you have a lot of options, but I'll go for the survey this time. Okay, I've got um, a simple survey, the default one with a name, email, a question regarding age, and uh, three more questions, three more statements. Uh, I won't go too much into details. You can add as many fields as you want. Uh, we have the basic fields, we've got the advanced ones. If you click on a field, you've got options like making it the label bold or adding more options, even choosing the default uh, option. Um, if you click continue, you'll reach the form section, uh, the form settings section, where you can add uh, the email address where you would receive all your form submissions. You can even enable the SMS uh, notification feature I was mentioning about and other uh, tips and tricks related to the emails you receive. Uh, besides that, we've got the application section where you link it to your uh, to your CRM product or your Salesforce account if you have one. We have the payment section where you can add prices if you are uh, creating uh, an order form and even uh, add some uh, features about uh, security like uh, an anti-spam image or a country filter. Uh, a lot of options are there available. Um, 
However, uh, I won't go into details again. Uh, feel free to, to create an account on our website uh, and uh, try for yourself. If you click the Continue button, you'll reach the Publish Form section. Uh, being an application for exact target, you automatically get, uh, get this form added to your uh, content, email content, content areas uh, section. You can use it in your email campaign. Uh, however, if you want to, to use this form on other locations like the Facebook page, we've got, uh, as you can see here, the, um, the Facebook application with a small video tutorial. We've got a WordPress plugin that you can use if you have a blog or even embed the code using JavaScript option in, uh, in your website. Okay, let's say I'm, um, I just, I'm just using the form for exact target. then. I have my form automatically added to email content content areas and I'm going to show you how it's done. Okay, just a second to, to reach that section, so I'll go to email. Okay, so let's reach the email section. Okay, great. I'll go to content and content area. As you can see here, I have all my forms. Well, you can't add the form directly in, a, in an email that you might send using exact target because uh, Gmail, for instance, automatically removes all the form-related tags for security uh, reasons. However, you've got a link, as you can see here, fill the form now, which you can customize, that will be added to your uh, email, um, email template. I'm going to show you what I mean by that in a, in a simple example. So I'll create a new template for the email. Let's call it test. I'll click save. Okay, so it looks like we already have a test, so let's call it test two. Okay, and here you, you see a, a blank template of your, uh, of your email that will be sent. Well, what you, what you have to do is to, to click once on um, on any section okay let's try okay I'll, um, I'll go to my uh, to my simple automated emails this time I'll create a test I'll see if I can use a template okay I'll click the next button let's choose a template Okay, the first one, let's say an email name, it's Florin, email subject Florin2. Okay, I'll click save and then I'll have my email template opened. Okay, and uh, here on any section that you want, you can, um, you can add, um, add content. If I click the retrieve button, then I should see all my forms. So I'll click on the first one. And I, as you can see here, you have the fill the form now. So as I mentioned earlier, it's just a link to, to the survey that I've created using one to three contact form. Okay, feel free to, to reply to Laura's email with the, on the follow up in order to, to send us any questions that you might have and I'll be more than happy to, to help Laura answer each of them. Thank you very much.